Welcome back everyone. And so I wanted to start this video off by showing some of the hate mail I receive from simply receiving an EX rate pass. There is no picking whether you get one or not. I know people who are doing just about every single raid at these sponsored gyms and they're yet to receive one. All right, so with that said, it is not my choice to receive one of these. And I'm not starting it off by super happy, ah, because apparently if I'm happy about it, people want to crush your happiness and make you feel like you're just a piece of work. Like I said, I would love to show some of the hate mail, but it's beyond hate. It's pure evil. <laughs> All right, it's, it's completely negative. The most uh, disgusting words you can pick, okay? Uh, based upon my skin color. If you can, you can guess just by that what the what the comments were saying Not just one person not just two or three or five or twenty many more and uh, a lot of them are blocked The comments are automatically blocked sometimes because of the language they choose and all that stuff. So anyways, I Received a raid pass. Yeah I was just hanging out on my desk about to start doing some more editing And it popped up on my screen all right. Am I happy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Okay. I received an EX raid pass from from our, you know, from Niantic. I'm surprised considering I made that, that video about the uh, new terms of service. I was not certain, but I was thinking I'm probably not going to be receiving another pass. But at this point, I now know it's kind of just completely random. doesn't matter what you do, what you say, who you are. All right. Have I been doing a whole bunch of those raids at the sponsored gym? No, <laughs> to be honest with you, no, I haven't. I have been skipping them in the past two weeks or ever since that last Mewtwo spawn, the last raid um, wave of EX passes, I did not receive one. And after that Mewtwo, ever since then, I've done about four raids there. One was, uh, the first one was like a, they were all legendaries, I believe. One was a Omnistar from one of the new raids, I do believe. Okay, so I don't have a choice and I just I just want to bring this to your attention. I have another one. I'm going to be going for my fourth Mewtwo here. We'll see if I can catch it. If it's above a 93, I'll probably power it up. I'm probably going to power it up anyways. And this one is going to have... I'm, I'm thinking either Psychic or focus blast not when i catch it but when i when i want to change its moves because i'm yet to you uh have a focus blast one and to be honest with you when pvp comes out if that ever comes out and if you're allowed to even use legendaries i'm thinking with pvp you're going to get some sort of option free for all or freestyle and then rules that meaning like only you can't pick double pokemon only uh all unique you can't pick you, you know self-explanatory uh, anyways uh, focus blast is gonna be a great counter to all if it's well not all against dark types and if you have confusion that'll be strong against the ghost types all right so anyways <laughs> crazy dude let's go over here and this is not bragging this is not show. this is what I do this is I make Pokemon go videos and if I receive an EX pass yes I'm gonna make a video about it and I'm not trying to rub this in people's faces or anything this is the, no no, I'm not trying to do that. I'm simply just trying to show you, <laughs> wow, that, that this is actually happening. I put in the work and I guess I'm getting the Mewtwo's. All right, so if you haven't noticed before when I would click on Plagueis, he had that 10,000 power option. I didn't power it up because it would be higher than uh, 3850. But now they made a new update <laughs> and they took away that 10,000 power up. Niantic, what's going on guys? Because, like I said, that last update was so buggy that I guess they never bring it out fully. They retracted it, and then now they bring out a new update for the people who maybe put that update in their phone. So if you want to hit that 10,000 power-up option, maybe go look for that um, update 0.81.1 somewhere on the net. <laughs> Make sure it's a safe spot, and I'm not telling you you should download it or rec recommending it. But if you want to see that power up option for 10,000 Stardust, that's what you're going to have to do. And uh, 
like I said, be careful. Don't just don't just download it from anywhere. I, I would recommend just don't do it. Simple as that. It's just one more power up. Wait, they're obviously going to bring it out. They messed up because it was supposed to be, I think, two power up, two more power up options, and they screwed that up. All right. So if you live here, live here in Anchorage, and you're going to be going to that EX raid, I'll be seeing you Saturday. <laughs> And uh, hopefully we'll be able to catch it, everybody. Anyways, take care. Thank you for watching. I'll be catching you all very soon. Uh, being, I'm going to be uploading a level three raid, new raids, uh, battling Scyther and Omnistar, trying to get my best time with Scyther, and then battling Omnistar, trying to get my best time using six unique Pokemon. So look forward to that. And I'll be catching you all very soon. Thanks for watching.